Hi everyone, uh, there's no school today, so I have my little helper here with me to help me unbox the November Sensory Therapy Play Box. This is my daughter. Do you wanna say hi and tell them what your name is? My name is Karina, hello. And so we're gonna just go through what was inside the November Sensory Therapy Play Box. And the first thing that we have here is the Spottington board game by Eboo. I, I love this game. It's a great visual I spy type game where you have to pick a card and then locate that item or character in the village on the boards. It's a recording. It's being recorded. Oh. So this is really, really, really great for working on visual skills and visual discrimination skills as well. The next thing we have is so bad. Okay, we will. This is the Hoppin Popper, and it's <laughs> basically you flip it inside out. So flip it, and then you put it on the table. Don't smack me with it. <laughs> and then it'll pop up like yeah. that. <laughs> it almost hit my head. So if you can see, uh, we'll point it down farther. You want to do it, Karina? Yeah. Flip it inside out and hold it in place on the table. Let's move back a little bit so they can see it. And then you let go and it pops up. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, it's fun. I mean, if you want to like really challenge yourself, you could like, you know, pop it up in the air and then try to catch it. Or you could just use it as a, um, a desk fidget, a hand fidget. So this is really fun. Can I show another one? Simple but fun. Can I yeah. show another one? Mm -hmm. Show them how. Classic pull tubes. We have two of those in this box. Um, you just pull them. It's so easy. So this is really good for working on upper body strengthening, pulling apart, and then also pushing back together. Really good for bilateral skills, working on having two hand two sides of the body work together in a coordinated way. <laughs> You're so silly. So the next thing, let's see. We have Senso band. So this is basically um, it's textured on top. It has little bumps on it. And this is a oral motor chew tool so you can uh, bite on it. It's safe to do that. Um, and then you could put it on your wrist. You want to show? Yeah. You put it on your wrist. So you can use it as a hand fidget. Put it on your wrist, take it off, run your fingers over the the bumpy part, and you can also chew on it too if your child does crave that type of sensory input and needs it. So if your child does not need to chew, don't encourage that. They can just use it as a fun hand fidget. The next thing we have are textured stretchy strings. So these are really fun. This, these are what they look like out of the package. Michelle? Yeah, they're, they're stretchy. And, they're, and you could braid them. And they're textured too. They have nice texture if you can see to and each you, one. And you could braid them. Braid, braid. No, I want to see them, how they break. You want to, oh, you're tw twisting them all together? See? That looks cool. Oh. <laughs> like so, the next thing is this little uh, squishy animal. These are really fun. The, these are the jumbo ones. The smaller ones, they're really fun because they can s stick to things like your your computer screen. But these are the larger ones and they're just very soft. They have a really pleasant texture to them. They're very soft and squishy. This one's a turtle. So there's all different animals like in all the boxes. So you might not get the turtle. It might be a different animal. But this is a really cute hand fidget. Cute. Just to squeeze and to manipulate. So that 
Yeah. That pretty much sums it up for the November box. We have them listed in the shop section of our website now. So if you wanted to just purchase it as a single purchase box um, or to send it as a gift, you can, you can do that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and that's it, right? Did you do all of that? I did. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.